We are live at Pace Studio with the Marcus King Band. They're going to play some songs for us this afternoon. And uh, hey, why don't you tell us about the first one? Well, this is a tune that I wrote uh, for our second record. And it was kind of a combination of different ideas that I had going on at that time. And our, uh, our A&R guy with Fantasy Records uh, kind of told me, he was like, Marcus, I want you to write a couple new songs for this record. And I said, you got it, you got it, because I was scared. So I did. And uh, this was one of them. It was like one of those tunes where I had all the ideas and I just didn't have the name for it. And there was this TV show I was watching and the main character, one of the main characters' name was uh, Rita. So I, it's kind of an amalgam of all these different ideas I had. Do you remember what TV show it was? Yeah. <laughs> it's called uh, Dexter. Cool. Nice. Cool. Whenever you're ready. All right. Nobody knew it till 
sounded great. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, you you actually worked with Warren Haynes on your last record, your sophomore record, and uh, I understand you're a really big fan of his. Yeah, How man. How did you I, guys connect for, well, for this? Uh, Warren's from Asheville, North Carolina, so that's about an hour f- and 15 from where I'm, where most of us are from. And, uh, yeah, I grew up, and I feel like I discovered Warren, like, three different times, like, first as a guitar player, and then secondly as a as a singer and then thirdly as a as a writer and he became my favorite guitar player and singer and writer you know uh, over the years and uh we had a lot of mutual friends that i was working with unbeknownst to me and then they introduced us and right off the bat you know became good friends awesome will you tell us about the next song you're gonna do yeah this is a it's another tune that i wrote for the second record it was just uh one of those melodies that i got in my head and came from like more of a morbid idea at first and then uh, took on more of a you know happy sound I guess it's one of those sad songs that are sounding happy I guess cool whenever yeah. you're ready I'm sorry about the love but I know I love Sorry about your love, but I know I love him better than he can.
That sounded great. Uh, so you've got, uh, I mean, I'm sure you heard this a million times before, but you have a very unique style of singing that um, is almost like a surprise, you know, even after hearing your speaking voice. I mean, to me, it sounds a lot like John Fogarty. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and so like, what did you listen to when you were growing up that like inspired your singing style today? When I was growing up, I was, I was mainly focused on guitar, you know, uh, at a young age. And I was listening to a lot of vocalists to uh, kind of, I was using a lot of vocal runs like Janis Joplin and uh, like Joe Cocker and Etta James and Billie Holiday and like James Doerr from uh, Robin Trower's trio and stuff like that. I was listening to the guitar players and the piano work and like the string arrangements, but also taking stuff from the vocalist uh, to apply to guitar. And I was kind of like inadvertently like uh, influencing my, my vocal style. And then when I started singing around the age of 13, I had a good friend die and I couldn't really express myself any further just through guitar, so I started writing and singing at that point. And, uh, you know, it's just like a, it's just like a muscle, you gotta work it out. So there's some early demos where it sounds pretty rough. And I, I'm still not a very big fan of my voice. I still, I think we can grow more every day with everything. Well, it sounds great from here. Thanks. Oh, uh, so will you tell us about the next song you're going to do? What's the next one? This is an instrumental piece here, actually. All right, all right, cool. And uh, it's a tune I wrote uh, when I was in high school for a, a jazz recital I was doing. Um, well, I, I was working on it, and I was transcribing a tune by Jimmy Herring, and I was supposed to transcribe the, uh, the solo section, and there was another student that was supposed to transcribe the melody, and we were supposed to have a recital for it, and he never transcribed the melody, so I, I didn't know the melody, and it was like day of. So I was like, we'll just play this tune. And I had the sheet music, and we played it. And then it kind of, I didn't play it for a few years, and then I introduced it to Jack, and Jack was like, oh, man, we got to play it. And then Stephen renamed it to uh, Thespian Espionage. So this is what we got.
That sounded great. 
Thanks. Yeah. So you're uh, you're on tour right now. Is that right? Or you've been on tour for a while. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you're been... headed out to. You're doing some pretty good dates coming up. Yeah, we're really excited for the rest of this year. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it looks like you're going to be at the Fuji Fuji Rock Festival, mm-hmm. the Ride Festival, uh, and a few other ones. I, I heard you're going to uh, a festival in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, are you? Where can we see you next? Do you know? Uh, next show is going to be in Macon, Georgia. Uh, March 3rd, this coming Friday night at the Cox Capitol Theater. Cool, fun. Well, thanks so much again for being here today and well, playing thanks for all us. different styles of, uh, of the music that you play. And you know, please come back and visit us anytime. Absolutely.